So this is my great honor to present today's uh, ESO expedited recommendation on Tenecte Plus for acute ischemic stroke. Uh, all disclosures can be found in the publication. And uh, our uh, module working group uh, was chaired by George Joseph Goulis and myself and was composed of 11 members, uh, nine participants in the vote and two uh, fellows. So to start, a uh, few words on Tenecteplas. Uh, Tenecteplas is a genetically modified form of alteplas associated with a longer half-life and uh, higher fibrin specificity. The administration of Tenecteplas is easy uh, with a single bolus in one minute. And this could have advantages in the setting of an acute ischemic stroke about the door to nimble time, about the transfer of patients, but it is not the most important. The crucial point is about the efficacy and safety data of Tenecte Plus comparing to Alte Plus. We had several phase two uh, studies comparing uh, Tenecte Plus with Alte Plus, and the question of Tenecte Plus was addressed uh, in. Uh, the last ESO recommendation on intravenous thrombolysis. And as you know perfectly well, uh, when intravenous thrombolysis uh, is indicated, uh, tenecteplaz 0.25 milligram was suggested over alteplaz only for patients with uh, large vessel occlusion, but not uh, for patients without large vessel occlusion. Quality of evidence low, and strong of recombination weak for both populations. Uh, last year, uh, four published randomized control trials comparing Tenecteplas and Alteplas, and another trial reported at a Congress. Thus, it was the right moment uh, to provide a new recommendation. A few words about the methodology. I will not detail this point. Uh, we strictly followed the ESO standard operating procedure with the grade approach. And we formulated our PICO questions in uh, three different populations. PICO one, uh, in all patients with uh, acute ischemic stroke of less than 4.5 hours. PICO two, uh, same time window, but also a large vessel occlusion and PICO-3 for wake-up stroke and stroke of unknown onset. About the intervention, uh, two treatment options were analyzed. Uh, intravenous tenecteplas at 0.25 milligram kilo and uh, tenecteplas at 0.40 milligram kilo. The comparator was the standard treatment, so uh, intravenous uh, alteplas. Let's now look at uh, briefly the outcomes of interest. Uh, we uh, identified and rated uh, 14 outcomes uh, for patients with acute ischemic stroke and uh, 17 uh, for those with also large vessel occlusion and uh, we voted for rating of the importance. The two uh, outcomes at the top of the list were ranking zero to one, so an excellent functional outcome, and uh, ranking zero to two, a good functional outcome at uh, 90 days. But uh, for patients with acute ischemic stroke, the primary outcome was ranking zero to one, and for patients with LVO, the primary outcome was ranking zero to two. And we also analyzed several critical and important outcomes uh, common at both populations. So as uh, mortality, intracranial hemorrhage, time metrics. And uh, finally, for population with large vessel occlusion, we selected uh, also as an important outcome uh, the recanalization rates. A brief uh, methodological point about the non inferiority margin uh, or analysis of the primary outcomes were performed with a non inferiority design. And you know uh, that to demonstrate non inferiority, 
the lower boundary of absolute difference must be above this margin. And this is a, a figure uh, from uh, Guillaume Turc. And uh, to define this uh, margin, we also voted uh, to, use, to choose uh, this um, margin for the two main population. First, for all patients with acute ischemic stroke, uh, the margin was set at 3% and seven votes for uh, this 3% and two votes for uh, more stringent uh, margin. Uh, for patients with large vessel occlusion, uh, the margin was set at 1.3% for all the members and it was to be uh, consistent with the guidelines on bridging therapy. Let's move on to the result with the first PICO. Uh, so it's acute ischemic stroke uh, of less than 4.5 hour duration. And it's a comparison between Teneteplas 0.25 milligram kilo and Alteplas with the different outcomes and we performed a non-inferiority analysis for the primary outcome. Due to a short time, uh, just a rapid comment about uh, the seven studies included in our analysis. Uh, of these seven studies uh, with patients treated with uh, Tenecteplas 0.25 milligram kilo, the majority was phase two study the only strictly phase three study, uh, including the large number of patients was the Canadian ACT study published last year. And uh, as you can see, the risk of, of bias uh, of the study was generally considered uh, low for most uh, criteria. Let's see now uh, the main results. So for these populations, uh, it is the meta-analysis for the primary outcome, ranking zero to one. And as you can see on this uh, forest plot, the unadjusted risk difference was at 3.68%. And the lower boundary at 0.32%. So it is above the non-inferiority margin of 3%. It's also above uh, the over option for the uh, margin of non-inferiority. So the conclusion of this analysis, it is that the non-inferiority is demonstrated. For the ranking 0 to 2, uh, same population, same treatment, and same conclusion, uh, it is also statistically significant. It is uh, non-inferior to Alteplas. And for the safety data, uh, the rate of intracranial hemorrhage and the mortality at three months, uh, you can see that we did not detect any significant difference. So finally, also for the time metric analysis, door to needle time, symptom onset to needle time, very few data. Uh, a trend in favor of tenecteplas, but it was not statistically significant. So this is, is our evidence-based recommendation for this population and for tenecteplas 0.25 milligram kilo, uh, it can be used as a safe and effective alternative to alteplas and the quality of evidence moderate, strength of recommendation strong. We provided also an expert consensus statement, and the group suggests uh, favoring Tenecteplas 0.25 milligram kilo uh, over Alteplas in light of safety and efficacy data, and because Tenecteplas can be administrated with a single bolus. And nine members uh, voted for this statement. Briefly, uh, the next question, same population, but uh, with Tenecteplas 0.40 milligram kilo. Uh, this is a primary endpoint, uh, ranking zero to one, and you can see the forest plot. And the risk difference was at minus 7.45%. Uh, so clearly, 
non-inferiority for this dose was not demonstrated. And about intracranial hemorrhage, uh, the rate tend to be higher for clinic plus. So our recommendation, we recommend against using tenec teplas at the dose of 0.40 milligram kilo, quality of evidence low, strength of recommendation strong against intervention. We have also a recommendation for patient managed with a mobile stroke unit. This is the data from the taste A, and it's about tenec teplas 0.25 milligram kilo. Our recommendation, uh, we suggest tenecteplas 0.25 milligram kilo over alteplas to increase the rate of early reperfusion and to shorten the time from imaging to treatment initiation, low quality of evidence and strong of recommendation week. Moving to PICO2, uh, patients uh, semi-term window, large vessel occlusion, and a comparison between tenecteplas 0.25 milligram and alteplas. Uh, the primary endpoint, uh, ranking 0 to 2, and you can see the forest plus and the an adjusted risk different at 16.15%. And also uh, the boundary uh, is above the non inferiority margin, which was at 1.3%. So the non-inferiority is demonstrated. The odd ratio uh, for the ranking zero to one in this patient with LVO, same results in favor of tenecteplas. And uh, about the safety data, uh, the rate of symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage and the mortality, uh, it is not statistically significant and perhaps a trend in favor of tenecteplas. And uh, finally, in this population, we uh, also have a, a judgment about uh, the recanalization rate before mechanical thrombectomy and at the uh, end of the mechanical thrombectomy, and uh, a, a trend in favor of tenecteplas, but not statistically significant. Our recommendation uh, for this patient, we recommend tenecteplas over alteplas. Intravenous thrombolysis should not delay mechanical thrombectomy and quality of evidence moderates, strength of low condemnation strong. Uh, we also provided an expert consensus uh, statement voted by all members in favor of tenecteplas, both patients directly admit to a thrombectomy center or not. A few words uh, about a patient with wake-up stroke or uh, with stroke of unknown time. Uh, first, PICO in this population, uh, the comparison between tenecteplas 0.25 milligram and no uh, thrombolysis. Uh, the recommendations is based on the twist result reported at the ESOC last year and published last week. And our recommendation, uh, so for wake up uh, patients uh, or with uh, unknown uh, strong onset, this, if these patients are selected with no brain imaging other than planned CT, we recommend against intravenous thrombolysis with tenecteplas 0.25 mg. Strong against intervention, quality of evidence low. And last question, uh, wake up stroke, unknown onset. Uh, tenecteplas compared with alteplas. Uh, Finally, in this uh, population, uh, we do not have any trial. So our evidence-based recommendation is there is a continued uncertainty over the potential benefits and arms of tenecteplas compared with alteplas. But we uh, decided to provide an expert consensus statement and uh, all members uh, suggest that tenecteplas 0.25 milligram could be a reasonable alternative to LTPLAS after selection of this patient with advanced imaging. So we are clearly in line with the last recommendation in this population. So 
My conclusion, uh, take home message, uh, the two important recommendation, and this is clearly new for this patient, uh, for all patients who are eligible for intravenous thrombolysis. Uh, and for patients with large vessel occlusion, this is the same recommendation uh, as uh, the last uh, intravenous thrombolysis, but we upgraded the strength of recommendation and the quality of evidence. Few comments to discuss, uh, as you know, the issue about the, the shortage of tenecteprase in Europe, the appropriate packaging not, uh, not adapted uh, for stroke, uh, the legatory aspect and the perspective, it's very important, the next frontier of tenecteprase in stroke, and it is the, uh, the following uh, talk. Thank you for your attention.